This video is intended to teach Lycoming College students how to access their cloud-based storage and your network storage so you can save any documents, any research to this space that's provided to you by Lyco. So the main way that you can save your documents is through OneDrive. So this is a cloud-based storage. You have up to a terabyte that you can use through Lyco. It is easily accessed both on and off campus, even on your cell phone. And this is accessible through Lyco 365. This is also called Office 365. I'm gonna show you how to access this using Lycoming College's website. If you click on the magnifying glass in the top right-hand corner of the page, on the right-hand side under Current Students, you will click on My Lyco. Here at My Lyco, you'll need to click on Office 365 on the right-hand side of the page. Now you can see the many Office 365 applications that are available to you for free. This includes Word Online, PowerPoint Online, Outlook, and you can edit these online and they will save automatically and you can access them anywhere. But right now I'd like to talk about OneDrive, so let's click that. So here you can see that I've already created many different files and folders and documents. Um, you can start a new folder here at the top. Um, you can start an online project if you'd like. You can upload a document here. You, you can upload a, one file or an entire folder if you'd like. You can also sync this sync button. It syncs it to your H drive. So this H drive is another way that you can store documents at Lycoming College. Students are given one gigabyte of network space for storage. Now these are easily accessible on campus desktops. Um, it's a little more difficult to access this on a laptop, but I'll get more into that in a second. So to get to your H drive on a campus desktop, you will need to go to this folder icon. The folder icon at the bottom of the screen and if you click on that, you will be able to find your H drive over here. Mine is my F drive since I am a faculty member. So then I would click on my Lyco username and now I'm seeing all of these different files and folders that I've already created and that's what would be syncing to Office 365. If you want to access your H drive on your laptop, you can do so by following the link in the description of this video. To do this, you will need to download the Canvas VPN, and instructions to do so are also in the description below. When you are conducting research for a class assignment, you will need to save your research somewhere, or at least save the links um, so you can get back to this research in the databases. So there, there are two options that you have. Save your PDFs to your OneDrive by uploading them to your OneDrive as I showed you earlier, or email the research to yourself. You can do that by looking for a permalink or a stable link in the database. If you are using a database that looks like this with EBSCO at the left hand corner and the purple bar at the top, then the link should be on the right hand side after you click the title of the item. If you click permalink, this box should pop up at the top and this is the link that you can copy and paste into your email to yourself. You could also just click the email button on the right hand side. That would also work just fine. If you have any more questions about your cloud-based storage or your network space storage, you can always contact IT services. If you have any questions about researching, you can contact a librarian.